good morning to all uh, i am uh, dr nv dandavani from mec coimbatore today i would like to uh, share with you the topic uh, or uh, uh, something called design data book how to read the design data book and what is the purpose of uh, design data book so nowadays almost all the uh, like mechanical engineers without uh, using the data book uh, they are designing uh, almost all the uh, like products that's uh, actually it's a wrong concept the main thing is uh, design data book is very very useful for uh, designing any product because the data book which consists of complete content so this is our uh, data book design data book so this data book which consists of uh, selection of material standards standard components and selection of bolt selection of washer selection of nut then sometimes uh, strength value also we have to get it from this okay and uh, the next one more important is any design engineer if you want to calculate uh, uh, then like a force calculation or moment calculation or uh, something like uh, the product development product they are going to design that so how much the load is uh, acting on this uh, uh, particular component and uh, how the distribution will be takes place how much the stress will be takes place and what is the factor of safety how we have to calculate by using the formula so all those things we can get it from this particular design data book because uh, th- basically uh, any product you are going to develop Uh, selection of material is more important and standards <coughs> then uh, load calculations and uh, types types of beams and types of support what type of beam and what type of uh, support we are going to consider on that and what are the various forces acting on the particular product we can calculate by using the formula or by using the standard chart table values all those things because this data book which contains everything it's a predefined equations predefined formulas and predefined uh, testing values is available on this particular book mainly we know that how to calculate and what is the basic procedure on that and uh, how we proceed with this particular data because uh, as an engineer need uh, the basic information about a product and after uh, basic design they are going to create a concept initially right so once the concept is created then they need to do uh, calculations for that and they can use the formulas correct and if they wants to validate uh, uh, with some other uh, sources like uh, simulation or uh, experimental des- data or testing data so what they wants to do is they take all the uh, calculations all the uh, like uh, completely it's a scientific approach even though the product is going to manufacture in the other end before going to manufacturing we should uh, uh, finalize with the validation <coughs> with respect to uh, theoretical approach for that theoretical approach this is very important i just go through on that uh, this textbook which consists of almost uh, 14 chapters <coughs> so the first three chapters i just give brief idea about that the first chapter is uh, like selection of material the material which consists of uh, uh, all the three uh, properties like physical mechanical and uh, chemical properties and heat treatment process so for to improve and increase the strength or the stiffness of the material we need to do the heat treatment process so what are the various heat treatment process available and what temperature we need to do the heat treatment operations all those things which is available in this book and another important uh, chapter is limit fits and tolerance which including gd and t also uh, then uh, <coughs> uh, like uh, rolling element uh, uh, bearings then standards and standard components because standards means uh, uh, we have to uh, uh, go with the selection of bolt selection of washer and selection of nut all those things <coughs> then mechanics it's more important uh, topic is called mechanics because in engineering we have studied uh, uh, there are many chapters uh, like engineering mechanics and st- strength of material subjects right 
so put together a combination of engineering mechanics and the strength of metal subject there are many formulas many standards many selections many assumptions right so everything which comes under its mechanics chapters no need to uh, mug up or no need to uh, like uh, or uh, 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 study the formulas all those things because all the formulas all the data which is all available in your data book what we have to do is just go through this uh, chapters we have to select what type of data we required for our particular product and how we have to calculate what is the basic formula we have to use all those things which is available in this particular chapters then machine elements because there are many linkage mechanism which is available in this world so each and every mechanism what are the elements which will be considered and what is the stress strain and the total deformation all those things we have to calculate theoretically by using this chapters then uh, design of gears because uh, we studied in engineering graduation even diploma also we have studied how to design a gear so the design uh, uh, like there are uh, some basic steps so those procedure we have to follow from selection of material to the final design and uh, factor safety or the validation with the some other approach right so all those things which is available in this gear chapters then material handling casting and machining casting and machining means how the casting component is there what are the allowances uh, is required to give that even some of the places machining component machining how are the what are all the machining process we need to do for that particular casting component and what is the parameters we should consider while machining all those things which is comes under in this particular chapter then the next important is welding welding mostly uh, selection of welding and uh, welding symbols so how we have to define the welding symbols and how we have to define the thickness of the weld all those things even sometimes the calculations also which is available in this particular chapters then the metal forming and limit gauges so mostly these 14 chapters uh, uh, consist of the complete design of the product or design of uh, assembled component design of mach machines even some places uh like you can you can uh, design the huge or uh, heavy structures for this particular uh, product so uh, with that uh, i can conclude so by using this uh, design data book we can calculate uh, theoretically what force and how much i mean uh, strength is required and what is the yield strength or young modulus uh, like that all the data if you want to do any structural design or thermal simulations or thermal design even sometimes uh, cfd computation fluid dynamics or computation fluid flow simulations before going to do the simulations or before going to do the manufacturing uh, we have to use these formulas and standards because a single word i can i can say that it is nothing but a scientific approach by using this particular scientific approach we have to uh, design before going to manufacturing so this complete content which consists of the formulas chart tables and some other informations uh, like uh, previous uh, existing data informations or the experimental informa informations so by using uh, this particular textbook because each and every engineer should require this particular data book because i have seen plenty of engineers without data book some people are asking me like uh, sir what is the use of the use of this data book there is no use of use on that what i can do by using this book no it's wrong actually and uh, any mechanical engineer either he is a production engineer or a inspection engineer or a design engineer whatever it may be whoever it may be as a mechanical engineer should require this particular data book for designing any product or any component so with that i conclude uh, uh like uh, the use of uh, the data book information that i can maybe uh, you, it will be very useful for you all right so we can see in the some other uh, video with uh, some other topics thank you